solve equations in quadratic form. So here we have an equation. It looks like quadratic, but it is not quite so. It says x square plus x plus 12 over x square plus x equals to 8. Now, question like this suggests that we can make a substitution and make x square plus x as some number. Then it could be a simpler equation. And let's try to do it and see what do we get. So let me use this side as a rougher column and uh, let's do the substitution. So we say let x square plus x equals to t. Okay, so let's do that and then rewrite this equation. So we get this as x square plus x is t. So we are writing this as t plus 12 over t equals to 8. So we can bring 8 this side and we can write this as okay let it write 8. Now to simplify this let's multiply by t on both the sides. So what do we get? We get t square plus 12 equals to 8t. Good. And if you bring this 8t to the left side it becomes a quadratic equation which could be solved easily. t square minus 8t plus 12 equals to 0. Well, that's a familiar quadratic equation and we can solve it by factoring. So to factor this, the coefficient of t square is 1. So we need two numbers whose product could be 12 and sum as minus 8. So let the two numbers be p and q whose product we are looking for as 12 and their sum we are looking for as minus 8. So what two numbers 3 times 4 gives you 7. That doesn't work for us. Both the numbers should be negative, right? Because we need positive product and a negative sum. So that does 6 and 2 works. Okay, let's write minus 6 and minus 2. When you add them, you get minus 8. So it works. So let's put. So the equation can be factored as t minus 6 times t minus 2 equal to 0. It's not a bad idea at this time to expand and check. t times t is t squared minus 6 times minus 2 is plus 12 and difference of adding these two. So we add minus 2t and minus 6t gives us minus 8. It works. So that is perfectly fine. Now this shows us that the equation can be true for t equals to 6 or t equals to 2. If I plug in 6 here, I get 0. 0 times anything is 0. Similarly, if I put 2 here, this becomes 0. And 0 times anything is 0. So both of them are solution for our equation. Now what is t? We found that we had actually substituted t as x square plus x. So t is 6. That means x square plus x equals to 6. t is 2. That means x squared plus x equals to 2. So to find x, let's solve another quadratic equation, right? It makes sense. This was effectively power of 4, correct? So we are solving quadratic equation twice. Let's do it. So we land up with x squared plus x minus 6 equals to 0. And now we need product of minus 6. So two numbers again, p and q, whose product should be minus 6. And p plus q should be 1, the coefficient of center term. So the two numbers are 3 and 2. 3 should be bigger. So we have 3 and minus 2. So this could be written as x minus 2 times x plus 3 equals to 0. So that gives us two solutions. One is x equals to 2. The other one is x equals to minus 3. Got it. Let's do this side. So our x could also be found from here. So this is an additional value to our answer. Product of minus 2 and sum of 1. So in this case, we need p and q whose product is minus 2. And when you add them, you get 1 since this is 1 and this is minus 2. So the two numbers which gives us is 2 and minus 1. So therefore, it could be written in factored form 
as x plus 2 times x minus 1 equals to 0. That gives us two answers, x equals to minus 2 and x equals to plus 1. So both are the right answers. So it's a good idea to check both the answers, okay? So you can do that check also here. So plug in the value and then check. Do you get 8 on the right side with both the answers, correct? So let's do it here. So the possible answers for us are x equals to 2 plus and minus 2, 1 and minus 3. So well, plug it in here one by one and then check your answers. It is always a good idea to check because whenever we do square root, we normally incorporate an error. Okay, if I put 2 here, what do I get? I get 2 square is 4, so I get 4 plus 2 plus 12 over 4 plus 2 which is 6. So 6 plus 2 is 8. So that works, correct? Minus 3. Minus 3 square is 9. So we get 9 minus 3, correct? 9 minus 3 is 6. So we get plus 12 over 6. So 9 minus 3 is 6 and 6 plus 2, 12 over 6 is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. It works. Minus 2. So if I put minus 2 here, minus 2 square is 4 minus 2 plus 12 over 4 minus 2 is 2. So 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 6 which is 8. That works. Let's put 1 here. So for 1 it is 1 plus 1 plus 12 over 1 plus 1 is 2. So it is 2 plus 6 which is 8. All four of them work and therefore our solution is, we can write down the answer now, correct? Answer is x equals to, it's always good to write them in a particular order. So we can write them as minus 3, minus 2, 1 and 2. So that's the solution of the given equation, correct? Have a good look at it. Thank you.